make you hear that baby early. <laughs> I did say that, huh? I definitely said that. Okay, so what happened was King and his new girlfriend Lane decided to go ahead and make an announcement that they're expecting, which most people, most people already know, but they actually shared photos from their maternity shoot. And that brought about a lot of questions as people trying to question how long they've been together, what happened, she got pregnant pretty fast. And I'm thinking that came out, so they gave them to the point to say, okay, we're going to explain everything. We want to explain everything that happened. So they're going to give their own timeline. In the midst of this, they did the pregnancy and the background of the relationship. They end up bringing up his ex-stylist girlfriend, and she wasn't having She went clean off. Like, it was really, it was really breaking apart. Like, it was already breaking apart, you know what I'm saying? And they had this other girl which was not my girlfriend, which wasn't the girl who I cheated on, you know what I'm saying, her with, you know what I'm saying, I wasn't even like, no, it wasn't that, it was the simple fact of she was doing my hair, I needed somebody to do my hair for me, I needed somebody to, I needed a new hairstyle, which was in Houston, or like, just simple friends, like, it wasn't even like that, like, it wasn't even like, you just yeah, I was just getting my hair done, like, I never, like, no, it was nothing like that, you know what I'm saying, and, you know, it went left, you know what I'm saying, because, like I said, my previous relationship, it was already falling apart, type. so I guess it made it seem like anybody that I was just getting my hair done by or something like that, it would have just looked like I was you know, just down the third, you know what I'm saying, I ain't gonna care, you know what I'm saying, after that, you know, previous, you know, conversation of the friend just kept, you know what I'm saying, kept. It just happened? Yeah, it just happened. Like, it this, wasn't. Was that already, like, when you weren't with? No, uh, we wasn't. No, we wasn't. No, we wasn't. Because we, at the same time, like, we was already, like, breaking up. Like, we was already, like, we was really living in a house with each other. We was broken up. So, mm-hmm. at that point, you know what I'm saying? So, it's like, with her, it's like, as in with her, too, like, she never was my girlfriend. Like, who never was my girlfriend. Like, I know, like, even after that, like, I didn't have no girlfriend. Like, it was, like, things that's being, like, put as stuff that wasn't even true all the way. You know what I'm saying? Like, nah, like, I'm not confirmed. I never sit down in my mouth and said, like, hey, you my girlfriend. So she wasn't really finna let that slide. So she said, okay, she's about to spill all the tea, get all the information about it. And this is what she had to say. Uh, maybe probably, like, a month and a half ago, um, I was on TikTok. So crazy, like ever since me and him stopped talking, I never seen him on social media, like never seen him on my timeline, my explore page, nothing. Then one day I'm just chilling and I'm on TikTok and I see the video of them doing the, you know, whatever dance, belly dance. I see them doing that on TikTok and I'm like, oh, you know, I'm just like, okay. So my friend, she sees it too. And so, you know, your friends are always going to be the messy ones. Your friends are always going to be the one to be like, girl, you ain't got to go look. I'm going to go look. Y'all know y'all friends. I'm going to go look. So I guess she went digging, found the girl's page. And um, she looked at her story. She was like, girl, they've been talking. She was like, she posted, oh, um, throwbacks to them. And yes, I saw them too um she posted old throwbacks to them so that's why i'm confused when they say that they started talking in december i mean i personally don't care about that part that don't have nothing to do with me that's just to answer y'all question on my like what i feel but that don't have shit to do with me at all when they started talking i frankly don't care about that my biggest problem y'all know my biggest problem my biggest problem is i feel like i should have never been mentioned it's me i'm the friend that's her she's a snooper <laughs> She's the one who um uh, who found it. She's the one, so y'all can ask her. I swear to God. So, I mean, like I said, I don't really care about that part. I don't give a fuck when they started talking. I don't care. I don't care about none of that. Like, my problem is it's like, but it's not like I don't. I don't care if he spoke bad about me because I never spoke bad about him. My problem is why I speak at all. At all. Like, now. Do y'all know how long ago this shit was? So why not talk about it and clear it up back then? 
why wait till I'm at peace, you got a girl, you got a baby on the way to speak on it? Because now you're all, this, this is what happens. Now you got all your followers on my live, in my DMs, either harassing me, talking shit, saying I'm delusional. So now you're fucking with my peace after I didn't already came to, like, you know, got back to my normal self. That's my problem. I don't care what was said. I never even watched the video. I'm more upset at the fact that I was even spoken upon. And if you were going to speak on it, at least tell the truth. That's my problem. I don't care about him bashing me. I, I don't know what was exactly said besides what you guys are telling me. And so if you were going to speak on it and clear up anything, why not do that at the beginning? Why not do that at the beginning? If you want to say, this is not the girl that I cheated with, why not say that when I was being bashed by everybody? It's not like he just told his partner or his girl. He told over a million fucking people, fam. Over a million fucking people. Over a million people. Like, y'all don't get it. It's That's a lot on me. So when whenever my name or anything about me is brought up, I, for some odd reason, I'm still attached to him. I don't know why, but every time my name is brought up, now I'm disturbed. That's my problem. I don't give a fuck about what was said. My problem is it should have never been brought up now. You should have did that before. So at this time, uh, King's ex-stylist and his new girlfriend, his ex-stylist slash girlfriend and his new girlfriend slash baby mama, uh, got into it on live. Basically, when the baby mama decides she gonna get on live and start asking her own questions, doing the girl, uh, the ex stylist girlfriend Q and A. So that set this whole thing off. They went back and forth, and you know what? I'm gonna let you hear for yourself. Um, she basically just did me, just telling me the same stuff that people are saying. So I'm like, well, we didn't even say nothing bad about you. Yada, 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 yada. We didn't say nothing bad about you and blah, blah, blah. And I, like I told her, I said, I don't care. I should never been brought up in the first goddamn place. And I told her that you're going to piss me the fuck off. So stop talking to me. And she didn't say nothing else. She want to do her little tweets, her little sub tweets on Twitter and shit like that. Don't do that. Don't do it. Because the thing is. I never said anything negative about her. I never tweeted her, never mentioned her, never said shit about her. She decided to comment on a YouTube video talking about, oh, she's all new. She just wants views. If that was the case, baby, I could have got these views a long ass time ago when the shit was hot. My thing, I don't understand why you're so pussy. That's not all he did, love. That's not all he did. It should, I should not be on nobody's motherfucking tongue at all. I should not be on nobody's tongue. You should never been in my DMs. I get it that you die hard about your man, but you don't know me. You don't know the situation. All you know is what the lies that he told you. But if I wanted to, I could hurt your feelings right now. I could really hurt your feelings, hurt his feelings. But I told myself that I was not going to be personal with this situation. I was going to let it ride. And I was just going to state my side of how we met. But you don't want me to hurt your feelings because there'll be no more relationship with y'all. And that's on my daughter. You know, I told you in my DMs, don't piss me off. Because if you do, you might have that baby early. Just saying. I don't care if he was f***ing me and f***ing you back to back. That's not my problem. Keep my name out your mouth. Both of y'all Cause y'all gonna be the ones hurt at the end of this live. Stop talking to me. It's simple. Come see me when you drop that baby. It's all I'm saying. I don't want to talk to you no more. When you drop that baby, come talk to me then. Cause right now, what you're saying is irrelevant. Y'all already brought up my name. I don't like that. All the fucking lies he probably didn't told you, try to make it seem like it's something it wasn't. Come on now. Come on now. I'm not invested into you, baby. The moment you mention my name, it's smoke. 
it's smoke. The moment you mention my name, if you've seen all the messages, then why you have him go and make a video explaining to make you feel better? If you've seen the messages, what was the point of the video? Just saying. Just saying. If you knew the truth, that's all that matters. So what was the point of y'all making a video? You subtweeted. You talked your shit. So I'm going to talk mine. I don't care if it was three seconds. I don't care if it was three seconds. My name should not have been on your tongue. Neither of y'all. If the shit was dead, y'all should have left it buried. It's simple. Y'all should have left it buried. You're not the one that gave me clout, baby. I promise you. You're not the one that gave me clout. You're not the one. Because people stuck around. Because I'm a real bitch. They stuck around. Didn't have to get clout from you. What the fuck I'm going to get from you? Like, come on now. I had a name way before all of this. The fuck? I mean, for me, it's going to be officially a year. But I know she known him for some years. You got clout off a of king. Do y'all realize I had 50, I had what? 50 something K followers before I even met him. I guess it's before the uh the Twitter feud and the war, the Twitter wars, or the Twitter things, whatever. It was on full, full blast, full deck the other day. She was, I guess the girl Elena, she was tweeting stuff, you know, it's giving me delusional. Uh, she really hate drama. Clout is a hell of a drug, stuff like that. So, you know, I guess uh this girl. I forget her name. I'm just going to call her Wig Queen. She was like, yo, I got time today. She said, why you ain't had that same energy in my DM, babe? You ain't going to be pregnant forever. Keep playing with me. So then uh, I guess Lena came back and pretty much was saying, um, why are you stalking my Twitter? You too pressed and too old. Making a whole YouTube channel. Speak on one person. Move on. It wasn't you, boo-boo. So y'all tell me what y'all think about this uh situation in the comments down below. Queen need I mean I'm sorry, King need to end it. King really need to end this. He got the power to end it. But y'all think he's gonna end it? How long is it gonna go on? Who's hurt? Which one? Let me know what you think about this in the comments down below. Let her give you a brief on how everything went down between her and King. Tell me who y'all believe. And like without putting too much of our business out. I was just trying to give him the best advice that I could. Wished him the best of luck. Cool beans, cool beans. Finished his hair. We went and we grabbed food at this restaurant. We went to go just grab some food. So after that, like, you know, we would be texting and stuff like that. We was just FaceTiming. But it was just like on some cool shit. Like it was no flirting, nothing like that. It was just strictly like on some cool shit. So, you know, like... He would, you know, ask me for advice and just continue to, like, you know, vent to me, cool, cool, cool. And I guess I just, I had a good ear, you know? I had, a, I had a really good ear to where he felt comfortable enough to, you know, confide in me. And, of course, I'm not going to share that personal information because whatever somebody tells me that's personal, I never open my mouth and say anything like that because I too share personal information with him as well. And I would hate if he did that to me. So, you know, we just continue to, you know, associate as friends. So then I would like encourage him to like tell him, like I would tell him like, you know, sometimes it's okay to be selfish, you know? And when I say be selfish, I mean, it's okay to think about yourself sometimes and think about how you feel sometimes. Those are encouraging words that I tell everybody. It's okay to think about yourself sometimes, your happiness. If you're not happy, you got to focus on you first, especially if you got a kid and stuff like that. You have to really just make sure that you're good first. So I sent him a quote, which was funny because I had just got through telling him that. I found a quote on my Twitter, on my timeline. So I screenshot it and I sent it to him or whatever. It was an encouraging quote, you know, just put yourself first sometimes. That's all I said. And I guess that kind of sparked up the issue with him and his um, BM. 
um, to where she saw it and she ended up posting my phone number on her social media. I don't know if y'all have seen that, but I just remember everybody blowing up my fucking phone. Oh my God, it was so bad. Like somebody blew up my phone and I was just like, okay, it's not like that. Like I'm not dealing with him. Like, no, like I'm just trying to give encouraging words to this man because I feel like he needs, you know, a friend or an ear, you know? But um, after that, um, he just started to get real like, I'm going to say like emotionally attached to me, like emotionally attached. So we started to talk more on like our childhood and just going to like, you know, just deep conversations about life that was really emotional, you know. So I felt like that was kind of like our connect. We did not start really talking on that level to probably about the end of October. I know it was definitely after my birthday is when we started to talk on a serious level. So after that, um, when, you know, they parted ways and they moved out the house. Um, yes, he did come and stay with me for about two months and a half. He came and stayed with me. Yes, I did throw his birthday party. I planned and threw it. People were like, oh, I saw you at his birthday party. No, baby, I threw it. Okay, that was me. They were not together is what I'm saying. He told me that they were done. Talk like basically they were like doing their own thing. This was like way in like June or July that happened. So the time that I started actually talking to him, this was way after they didn't like told the internet, the whole situation, you know, that other rumor came out. Like it was. That's when I started talking to him, when they were completely, like, done. So everything that happened with him, so-called cheating, this was before I even came around. Y'all was talking when he had court in L.A. Um, that was the time we were, like, really falling off, is when he went to court in L.A. We was really falling off. Yeah, we were definitely, like, on, like, mm, we was not really, yeah, that was definitely the time, because I remember, I, I remember vividly, like, that was the time we were definitely, like, Boop. why did y'all stop talking? Honestly, because he tried to basically flip it on me, like, I was tripping, or not really tripping, I just felt like, if we're friends first, if we're friends first, like that's the root, we should always make sure that we respect each other, you know? And I just felt like he just kept disrespecting me. And, you know, when that's done, then I just started kind of like, I don't know, it just, it was an agreement to stop talking. In other words, it was it was agreement. We tried to go back as friends, and in my heart, I felt like I can't be friends. Like I can't I can't be friends. Like I, I can't do it. I'd rather be nothing. So after she pretty much uh, um, elaborated on everything of their relationship, you got the fight that her and the girl had, all those type of things. She decided again to get on live and address more questions and answers and stuff like that. And she pretty much was saying they screwed themselves when she came in and actually tear her part. It made them look bad. So that's what made them come out and say what they got to say. She also alleged that at one point in time, she could have possibly been pregnant by King. Y'all tell me what y'all think about this in the comments down below. Uh, Watch it, comment, like, subscribe. I'm out. Yes. Thank you. I knew I wasn't the only one who saw that. I said that. I literally said that she posted it on her story. That's how they fucked up. She should have never posted that. She posted all pictures and videos of them on her story. So no, they did not just meet. They That's exactly what I've been saying. So it's like, why even lie? Just not they just don't say nothing at all. Like just don't say anything at all. All this could have been prevented if you just didn't say anything at all. Because now people are trying to create a timeline. People are trying to put stuff together. They're doing two plus two when that bitch is equal in four. It's coming out to four. But I know I don't be tripping. Let's just say 
God did not want me to be the baby mama. Let's just say that. Let's just say that God did not want me to be in the same position I was with my baby daddy again. So we just gonna, we just gonna say that. Basically, basically, yeah. Load it up. <laughs> Basically, basically, yeah. Load it up. <laughs>